Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Melanie with Thriving in the Fishbowl. This is my lovely assistant. Elizabeth. She came back yesterday. She was on, um, we had a picture of her because she was at church. So she's here today um, making her lovely faces that everybody likes to talk about how cute she is. So um, she's also known as a soccer player on my Facebook page. So Thank you so much for watching my mom hack series. I have enjoyed doing it actually more than I thought I would do um, enjoy and I've actually enjoyed writing the blogs too so make sure you visit my blog at thrivinginthefishbowl.com slash blog. So today this is my final mom hack. Tomorrow we'll be starting a new series and I'll let you uh, wait to see what that's going to be. But I get this question all the time and this is the question people say and you've probably seen it on my comments if you follow my posts. People say I don't know how, I do, how you do everything you do. How do you do it all? And I have been thinking about that when I do these mom hacks. You know, they're like, how do you have time to do all this stuff? You know what? The bottom line is, I don't have time to do it all. I am intentional with my time. I have not always been like that. I have, um, I used to uh, lay in bed quite late. My kids would be doing their school and they'd come to me and say, uh, Mom, uh, we've already finished math and English. Are you going to get up? Okay. And so three years ago, I decided to make a change. And so um, my English? final mom hack, what? What's English? Oh, language arts or phonics. So <laughs> what's English? We call it phonics in our house. So, um, so anyway, here is my final mom hack. And the most important I've said because... What the, re the way I am able to do it all, the reason I'm able to do it all is because a few years ago I decided, you know, it's great to be physically fit, but what a shame it would be if I was physically fit but not spiritually fit. And so I made a commitment then and there that I would not um, work on anything with my fitness business until I took time each day to spend time with God. And so, you know, a lot of moms, we're just busy, you know, um, and the older we get, the faster time goes. And one thing that's really easy to neglect in your day is time with God because we're so busy doing things for God that we're not spending time with him. And so I think about it like this, you know, I have a husband, but if I'm so busy cleaning the house and doing this and doing that, but I never take time to spend with him, what good is the relationship? And it's the same way with God. And maximized okay more you know bigger okay and so I we're just gonna share with you what we do to intentionally spend time with God so for me and now what I do is gonna look different than what you're gonna do okay um, what I do is I get up every morning and I am not a morning person so what wakes me up is I drink um, a pre-workout and I go work out that wakes me up and then as soon as I get upstairs I cook Elijah breakfast and as soon as he gets on the bus then I sit down and my kids know um, because the girls are up and we all do this, what we're going to, what we're going to talk about together. And I do my devotion. So for me, here's what mine looks like. I read, wake up Elizabeth. Yeah. Wake up Elizabeth. That's Pastor Steve. Um, he said, wake up Elizabeth. Oh. Um, this is a devotional called Jesus Calling. I read this every day. It is written from the view of Jesus talking to you. And you've probably seen me post pictures out of it. I love this. Okay. However, there is no substitute for God's word. Okay, and so what I do is I read this, and it's an excellent book you can get off Amazon. I'll put the link in my blog for today's post, but there is no substitute for God's Word. So what I do is our church has a reading plan, and I can actually get you some of these bookmarks if you want. And so let me just show you. Um, I'll just show you January's um, because you can see it the best. So for January, it has novice, intermediate, and advanced. And so those colors tell me what I'm going to read. Okay, and if I am advanced, I'm reading through the whole... Bible parts of the New Testament twice in a year. However, if I am just starting, I'm just doing the green. And now here's the thing. I am not doing part of it. I'm doing intermediate because I realize that, you know what? I'm not going to try to bite it all off because I may fail. All right. And so here's what I do. I read that. I check it off. And then, so, and I have this Bible. It's awesome. If you like to, um, if you're visual, um, it has um, things you can color on one side, and then it has, um, well, that's not a good page to show you. On the other side, it has lines where you can write. And so I will underline stuff, but what I do is I do, um, we do life journals at our church, and what it is, is Elizabeth's going to hold hers up and show you. Every day, and this is her blank one so I can show you, it's called soap. I will find a scripture that speaks to me, then I will write an observation about that scripture, 
Then I'll write an application and then I write a prayer. For me, it's easier to write a prayer than it is for me to sit there and, um, and pray because my mind tends to wander. So when I write, it's a lot better for me. And so just an example, let me just find one. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. So here's one day. Um, I, I wrote Romans 2.29. My S for my scripture was Romans 2.29. A person with a changed heart seeks praise from God, not from people. And then my observation was, Paul was telling the people that keeping the law wouldn't save them. Obeying the law wouldn't make them right with God. However, it was a changed heart. And then my application is, I need to remember my goal in life is telling others about God first and foremost. More than anything else, not about pleasing people. What they say does not matter what God says does. And then I wrote a prayer to God that day. I write about my, I write about that, you know, prayer about what I've read, what I'm trying to take in. And then I write a prayer, you know, for, you know, help my crazy day, you know, or help the situation I'm concerned about. And so that is my mom hack. I stay sane by taking time to spend time with God in the morning. Am I perfect? No, I still yell at my kids, okay? But it sure makes me a lot better than I used to be, all right? And I am a work in progress. We all are a work in progress. But um, Elizabeth's going to show you what she does, okay? Yeah. So, okay, so what she does for the kids' version, they can read what our church is doing, or they have in here um, a Bible reading plan. And so it works on... Right here. It works on, if you're just starting, you just read this. If you want to do intermediate, you read these two. Full speed ahead, you read all this. And then she writes that, and so she writes her journal, what she, you know, just on her level. I do this with Ariel. She's four. And her prayers um, are, like, a couple days ago, it was, Dear God, please let me get a real cat. I want to keep him in the garage. Okay? Oh, I got but one. she's learning the process. Oh, Elizabeth has another one of Ariel's she prayers. She wants a real sheep. She wants a real sheep. Yes, yeah, she really wants a sheep. Okay? We so... Isabel and I got to take a sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let me tell you just a couple th ideas that I had before I get off here. Um, to fit it in for you, it can be so simple. There is an app on your phone, and I will provide a link to this called YouVersion. It will read the Bible out loud to you. If you're wondering about which version, New Living Translation is the bomb. I love it, okay? And it will read the Bible out to you. It will give you plans. Like, it, say you're struggling with depression. You can click, and there is a plan that will address what the Bible says about depression. Say you're struggling with anger. Say you're struggling with, you know, um, relationship issue. Everything is there for you. And so um, it's awesome. It has different plans. It really I don't know about you, but the songs I sing stay in my head. And so I like to listen to Christian radio to engraft it into my life, the truths of God's word. Um, I like to read Christian books. Um, also, I say pray as you're doing life. You know, you can say a prayer to God as you're going down the road or as you're doing dishes. And then also... If you're worried about trying to start this, you know, it doesn't have to be long. I tell people, speaks to you, and then, you know, write down what you think, okay? And then also, um, I just have um, set a reminder on your phone is what I had. Set a reminder on your phone. I said, don't just go through the motions. Determine that you're going to thrive, and a place to start would be spending time with God. And so I would love to give you um, advice if you need help on getting started. Um, three books that I love, Breaking Busy, talks about spending time with God. Um, she says in here, she said, I think sometimes we forget how special it is that we can have a relationship, a real close personal relationship with God. All right. And then also, this book is amazing. Um, Bianca, um, I saw her speak one time, and it is one of the best books I've ever read. And then also there is one called The Busy Mom's Guide to Spiritual Survival. And if you're busy, you probably don't have time to read a book. So I would love to help you if you need um, help getting started. And so uh, just reach out to me on here. And thank you so much for watching. you have anything else you want to say? The book almost fell over. The book almost fell over. All right. Well, y'all have a good day. And thank you for watching the Mom Hacks series. And have a great Friday afternoon and weekend. Bye.